Hello there, and welcome to another Matrix Configurator how-to video. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about push-button controller and OBD2 controller combination inputs. If you're not familiar with the Z3 Siren push-button controller or the OBD2 controller, you can go to Help, How-to Videos, and watch more about input devices. In a previous video about input devices, we showed you how you could select multiple buttons at the same time in any given input device. For instance, we click on the B1 button on the Z3 Siren button controller, hold down the control key on the keyboard, and select B2. And now B1 and B2 are a set of inputs together. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to do that between multiple devices and how that works. The principle for doing this between devices is exactly the same as we just showed. But I'm going to give you a simple example of how powerful selecting multiple input across devices can be. The example comes from an actual configuration requested by a customer. In our current configuration, level 1 is playing the sweep pattern. Level 2 is playing the triple flash 115 pattern. And level 3 is playing the pursuit pattern. However, the customer wanted to play a rear red steady across the light bar when the OBD2 brake pedal was pushed. The rest of the light bar would play the standard pattern around the red steady. And when released, the normal pattern would resume on the rear of the bar. To accomplish this, we simply hold down the control key while in slider 3 position and click on the brake pedal on the OBD2 controller. Now, we have brake pedal and slider position 3 selected as an input by itself. We simply go down to Steady Patterns in the Actions column, find the red rear steady pattern, drag and drop it over. Now, when in level 3 and the brake pedal is pushed, the red rear steady will play. But in the same time, the slider position 3's configuration will also play when the brake pedal is released. The same procedure can be applied to level 2 and level 1 while holding the control key and the brake pedal on the OBD2 to give you the same results. Multi-combinations within input devices is powerful, but even more powerful when combined with other input devices, such as OBD2, giving complete flexibility in configuring the matrix system as you desire. I hope this video has been helpful, and don't forget to check out other how-to videos on the matrix configurator by going to the help menu, how-to videos, and selecting the video of your choice. And again, thanks for watching.